Hi guys, it's me, NRG0277, and I want to talk about the weirdest things I saw in school. It was second and third grade mostly. It starts in the second grade. We were all taken to the auditorium, and we were shown a film. And it was a film about a bunch of ants going into the, a forest and smoking a bunch of cigarettes. And there's this one ant, unlike the other ants, he's red, and the other ants are, are blue. He tries to get two kid ants to smoke, and they end up chewing on tobacco and getting sick, and the elder ant is upset at them. And... Basically what happens next is the uh, red ant smokes, he takes a huge puff of a cigarette, and he explodes. I forgot what the film was called, I think it was something called Anti-Tobacco or Ant Tobacco, I can't remember, but this was a very weird film we watched in the second grade. The next film was in the third grade. We watched another film. It was part of a sleep deprivation thing. Like, people who suffer from sleep deprivation. The film was called Nights. And it was about two knights. One named Sun, and I think the other was named Night or Moon. So, they, uh... One sleeps well, and the other one stays up all night. And they go to a wishing well. Because they live in a kingdom, of course. And they toss a coin in. They end up going to the modern world, which is basically just a big city. And their horses turn into motorcycles. One decides to regularly keep to his uh, sleeping schedule. And the other one stays up for nights on end. And he rides his motorcycle and crashes. And the knight that goes to sleep goes to check on him. All the while... It's something along the lines of uh, random texts that pop up most of the time talking about how sleep deprivation can actually be a cause of death for some people. And that's pretty much all of it. They go back to the wishing well, they go back to the medieval kingdom, and the knight that suffers from sleep deprivation has a steady sleep schedule, I guess. One of the weirdest films I've ever watched is all two, those are two weird short films, and I think they're lost media because I saw them once, and I never saw them again. I even looked for them online, and I couldn't find them, so I'm not sure if it's lost media or not. I'm not sure if anyone else remembers watching these films, but yeah, that's pretty much what it was like. They were weird. That's all I have to say.